So there was a question from Nicholas um, via email on how to um, make backing tracks. He's got 300 um, songs in music school and he wants to be able to make backing tracks with these these 300 songs um, in Band in a Box so that he can play along. And he's um, got these 300 tracks that he's arranged for a three-part accordion. So... um, The first thing I asked him to do was just to export the music school files to a MIDI file, okay, which he did. Now, what I need to do is just open up um, that one of those MIDI files. So I'm going to choose this one, which is all I have to do is is dream all parts. So that's the one that he sent me with um, three accordion parts um, all scored out in music school. So I just open that, um, that MIDI file. And um, here you can see it's brought up the chords. Now, it brings up these chords from the actual MIDI MIDI file. So I know this song quite well. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just go and put uh, part markers in for the um, the intro and for the verses and the chorus and stuff. And I'll just do that just by listening um, to the the MIDI file. So there's the start of the first um, chorus or verse. I'm not too sure in this song. Okay, so I'll go through the entire song. Um, The verses I will leave with these blue part markers and the um, choruses I'll make the green part markers. I think that is actually the chorus there. So I'm just going to make it the green part marker. Right. So now you see what Band in a Box has done is it's put all three of the accordion parts that Nicholas has written out um, in music school on the this tenor sax track. And I can see those by pressing the sequencer button. And you see there there's three accordion, accordion parts. But what Band in a Box has done is it's put them all onto one Band in a Box um, track. Okay. So I'm just going to leave that for now. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a style, okay, for this song. So obviously the styles that you can select will depend on your version of Band in a Box. If you've got the pro version of Band in a Box, you're going to have much less styles. I think you get 100 styles with uh, the pro version. If you've got the ultra uh, uh, version, you're going to have a lot more styles to choose from. So if you're going to really go into this in a big way and make 300 backing tracks from all these songs, Nicholas, I can strongly recommend that you uh, cross-grade to the Ultra Pack. And and please just send me an email because I do have good prices on that. Okay, but what uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll just type in all I have to do is dream in the song selection and double-click that. And what Ban in a Box will do is it'll bring up all the selected styles for this uh, well-known song. And you can um, obviously um, audition all these songs and decide which one you want. But I'm not going to do that now. I'm just going to select the first one that Band in a Box has said is suitable for that song. Now you'll see what Band in a Box has done here is it's put all these real tracks that were part of that real style into the other um, two, five uh, Band in a Box tracks. But it's left this tenor sax, where is the MIDI, um, with Nicholas's arrangement in there. So now I can play this and it's going to play these real tracks along with these, these, this MIDI that um, comes from the music score. So obviously you can make any changes here in the chords. If there's something funny, you can change anything you want. You can change the um, the key. You can change the beats per minute. You can change whatever. All right. So now, if you want to separate out these three accordion tracks, these MIDI tracks that are in this one, um, one band in a box file, then... The best way to do it is to go to Real Band, okay, and open the actual MIDI file. So this is the same MIDI file as I opened in Band in a Box, okay. And you see what Real Band has done here is it's separated all three of the accordion parts out into their own MIDI um, file. Now what you can do is you can just export those all to their own tracks, and then... um, Okay, so you export those to your own tracks. Now, 
what I can do is I can I can save this band in a box file, okay, as an MGX file. That's a band in a box file with a, a, a melody in it. And then I can open that file in real band. So I'm just going to open the MGX file. Okay. Now you see what band in a box does here. It's still busy because it needs to generate all these tracks. So it does take a bit of time the first time you open this. Um, okay, it's still busy. It's still busy. Still busy here. You can see here it's 58, 70, whatever, 100%. But what Real Band has done, when I open the MGX, it is, has put all the, um, the MIDI tracks onto one Real Band uh, track. You can see that it's in track number six. All three accordion parts are now in um, track number six. But what it's done is it's put all the real tracks as well from that style. So in Band in a Box, I had these uh, real tracks in that style. It's put those real tracks here, and then it's put um, all three MIDI parts onto one track. So if you wanted to separate um, out those three accordion parts, you could just import those MIDI files that we just created. So I think you just right click, I think. Um, and then I, I'm not too sure how to do this file import um, and then I'll just import that each track no I don't want to okay and then you can pick it up and move it to where you want it in, 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 in the song you see it's put it on, on, on minus one and that's basically how you do it um, and then you can you, you know now you've got this MIDI um, track and you can change the instrument, you can put a proper um, synth in there to make it sound nice, you can edit these, this, these MIDI notes if you want to, you can transpose, you can do all sorts of nice things that you can do with, with MIDI. So Nicholas, I hope that helps. Um, as I said, I strongly recommend that you cross-grade to the Ultra Pack and please do send me an email because um, I can offer you a good price on the cross-grade to the Ultra Pack um, in order to get, uh, you know, the benefits out of that in a box.